Are you going to China for the very first time and have no idea what to pack, what to do and how to prepare? Then you should probably watch this video. If you are a big fan of Western social media apps, you are gonna absolutely hate it. And I mean, hate it with all your heart. Whatever we Westerns consider to be fun online, it's banned in China. However, there's one sneaky solution called VPN. Just make sure you download it before you enter China, especially if you're an Android user, because Google Play doesn't even work in China. Also, if you are a Gmail user, you won't be able to check your emails either, so be aware of that. There are many VPN options you can choose from. Some are free, some you have to pay for. Either way, most of the Western apps are gonna be so slow. Also, get WeChat. Because WeChat is what you use in China for literally everything. It becomes your Facebook, your WhatsApp, your Skype, translator, and even your wallet. WeChat is life in China and you are gonna love it. Also make people back home to get WeChat if you want to be able to communicate to them in an amazing way because all the other apps are just gonna suck. Also get Pleco which is an offline Chinese English dictionary and which is also going to save your life many times. Type in the word, show it to Chinese people and you will get whatever you're asking for. Of course, within limits. Also, download Google Translator app because it lets you download the Chinese package which can be used offline and also it has this cool option where you can take a picture or screenshot and it will scan it and translate it to you from Chinese to English. So it's very convenient when it comes to the Chinese characters. When you wake up in China, you don't check the temperature outside, you check the pollution. And there's a school app called Airpocalypse, which will tell you how polluted it is outside, if you have to wear a mask or not, and also will give you some suggestions on what to do, which can end up being drinking baijiu. But you just gotta do what the app tells you to do because, you know, it knows better. Also, if you rely on Google Maps when traveling, yeah, without VPN, it's not gonna work. If you have an iPhone, you're lucky because Maps is the most amazing ever in China. It will show you what bus to take, what subway to take, where to walk, where to change. But if you're an Android user, I'm not really sure. So what I would suggest doing would be to download the Chinese app called Baidu Maps, which does exactly the same thing as the other apps. However, it's in Chinese and only Chinese. So if you're good at guessing, you will be fine. If you're a big person and have big feet, make sure you bring shoes for all the seasons because you will struggle finding a pair of shoes that suits you or if you manage to find some, they will be so ugly and you will have to wear them because you have no choice. And also get ready to increase your foot size by at least two sizes because if you have size 41, it will eventually become 43. So don't worry, it's not your feet growing, it's China. You will never find shoes in Chinese markets or shops. However, you can order a pair of shoes in a big size online on Western apps, such as Zara and H&M, and they will deliver the shoes straight to your door. However, for that, you kind of need to know how to put in your address in Chinese, but just go outside, give your phone to some Chinese person and they're gonna help you. Everybody's friendly in China, more or less. Also, if you're planning to stay in China for a longer time, make sure you bring a pair of larger clothes because eventually you're gonna gain weight in no time because China is full of delicious food and delicious drinks, which you just can't resist. Everybody gets fat in China. That's just how it is. Since in China, it's considered to be beautiful to be white, most of the creams are gonna be whitening. So make sure you bring enough cream for all your stay, unless you want to get bleached. And if you're picky and you have some certain toothpaste that you're using or some special products, you'll most likely not find it in China. Therefore, bring enough of supplies. Sometimes hairspray might also be an issue. If you come from Europe or Asian countries, you will most likely have no problem to charge your devices. China has multi-holes in their sockets. 
but if you come from America you most likely will need some sorts of adapter because of the different voltage. Get ready for pollution, especially in winter. It just gets really nasty. So get a good mask even though they say it doesn't really help. It still will do something useful for your lungs. You can buy masks everywhere in China, but if you have some specific store back home and you trust the product of your home more, go ahead and bring it from home. When it comes to money, you can exchange it in banks, but it's gonna take you hours, no joke. I don't know what they do there and how they do it, but it takes forever. Also, keep in mind that you need to bring a passport and it's only a certain amount of money that can be exchanged in one day. But if you have an international bank card, you can just take the money out of ATM. But just in case, bring some Chinese yuan so that you can survive once you get out of the airport in case you don't find an ATM or a bank. When it comes to getting a Chinese SIM card, you can do that at stores such as China Unicom or China Mobile. Type in in Pleco SIM card and show it to them and they will most likely understand. And if not, get somebody from the street who speaks a little bit of English, bring them into the store and they're gonna tell exactly what you want. Don't be shy, people are friendly there. And if you wanna top up your phone, you go to the same stores, give them the money, say your number and done. Also, you can do it through WeChat if you have the account set up and connect it to your wallet. And also remember that your passport is the only valid document for you in China. They will not accept some ID cards or driver license. So make sure you have your passport wherever you go or at least a copy of it. Also take a photocopy of your visa and the passport page which got stamped when entering China. That's what they ask for if the police stops you on the street. If you are allergic to some sorts of food, don't go to China. But if you really can't resist, be super careful at what you're eating because most of the times you have no idea what you put into your mouth. When it comes to safety in China, I would say it's the safest country I've ever been to. So no need for pepper sprays. There are cameras everywhere. You will never be able to hide from anything. So make sure you behave or you will have a late night visit straight to your door. Also be ready for scams. Chinese people are super nice and friendly. However, of course, there are people who would like to scam you, especially taxi drivers. You give them a real 50 or 100 bill, sneakily exchange it to a fake one and give it back to you and say that it's fake. Then you give them a new one and they do the same. And that's how you lose money, a lot of money for this cheap taxi ride. There are also some other things that you have to be ready for. Get ready to being stared at anywhere, anytime and also be ready to pose because they will be taking pictures of you especially if you go to a smaller town in China also get ready to be pushed and prepare for squat toilets as well as the crazy traffic if you're gonna cross a street in China nobody's gonna stop so you have to be bold you just have to put yourself out there on the street walk straight and pray for not getting hit but they don't want to hit you so you should be fine when it comes to medicine China more or less got it all. However, all is in Chinese. And at pharmacies, they usually don't speak English either. So just take something with you, whatever you use when you get ill. And if there's an emergency, there are clinics that speak English and will help you with whatever your problem is. However, get ready to pay. Also, what could help you before going to China is learning some basic words. Not that you really need Chinese to survive in China, even though not many people speak English. Just show them the word on a phone or show them the map and then they're gonna explain to you where to go and help you with whatever you need. And if this person can't help you or is scared of you, just ask a second one and you will be fine. I hope that this video is helpful if you plan to go to China for the very very first time. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video so much, give it a thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions concerning China, please comment below. 再见!